Hi, um, this is a quick tutorial about how to bake uh, texture maps in an HDA, uh, in a Houdini digital asset, um, and uh, using this in Unreal Engine with the use of the fabulous Houdini engine. This is sometimes getting really confusing with all the engines and all that stuff. Okay, let's start. I've actually already made this, so I'm not boring you to death with clicking around for like half an hour to show you something that is actually quite simple. Um, this is the HDA already packed and so on, and this is not what this tutorial is really about. You should basically know how to do HDAs. Um, so the, import the important thing is that, let's unlock this quickly, that you um, have to create um, subnets for rendering that's the render operator and material networks within the HDA um, or the Houdini digital asset. Uh, you do this like this. There you go. Have a ROP network, have another one, but don't need that one. One is enough. Within that ROP network, all I did is place down a baked texture node. Um, within that node, however, there's something quite important, which is the passes. Um, in HDAs, uh, you need to always use relative passes, and um, that's done like this. You have to click this little tick down here, and then it will create dot dot slash dot dot cam. If you don't do it, this comes up, and the problem is the OBJ context doesn't exist, um, and it won't be called subnet, and so on and so on. So you have to reference it yourself, sort of. And that's why you do it like this. Um, you have to specify an output path for um, the picture. Basically, that's where the beauty goes. My shader doesn't produce a beauty. It produces just the um, color emission, which uh, was the quickest thing I could think of right now. Let me show you that too in the material network. Um, I, uh, Use the material builder within that. Um, I used a splatter, which is a nice procedural. By the way, let's quickly show you this torus. Ah, no, I can't now. I have to click it. The torus is nicely unwrapped. I'm not going to show you how I did this. This is not important right now. Um, UVing would be a different topic. So let's go back to the material again. Sorry for that diversion. Um, anyway, all I did is uh, use the position and create a splatter. Um, exp I exposed some of the parameters. Um, they will actually also be exposed in the HDA. And I piped it here into color emission. All the rest is empty. That's why the beauty won't produce any picture. So um, that's all I did in the material network. This is assigned here. Again, important. Don't forget export relative paths. Um, let's, yeah, and now one more thing, which is quite important. Um, you have to design this user interface here for your HDA. And for that, one of the mistakes I still do it all the time is I go into Edit Parameter Interface, but you don't want to do this. There you just um, do, you know, temporary adjustments to the interface, which are only valid within the scene. Um, within uh, to define HDAs, you need this, which is the uh, Type Properties Operator Interface thingy. And there you go. You can only not only have um, parameters here, which those are the parameters of the shader. Um, here you have the file name, where it's going to write the uh, uh, color emission file to. But you can also include buttons. And um, let's show you quickly how that is done. I move this down here. So not much render space. You go into the ROP network. Um, and there, where's the button? There's that render to disk button. 
let's delete it here that won't show up yeah gone and now you can just take the button and drag it down here move it up so there you go um, basically that's all you need to do and you've got that button and th this button will show up in Unreal so hit apply accept save that thing and lock it again yeah there you go did I do this correctly now I think so um yeah, now you've got a render to disk button, which you can also press here. Um, but, and, uh, yeah, let's do this quickly so you can see what we're going to have to expect. No, not going to do this. We're going to just render quickly. Yeah, that's the Taurus with the splatter pattern on it in Houdini. Now let's switch to Unreal. In Unreal, you have to import your Houdini digital asset. Um, wherever you save them, um, in this case, it's, I've saved it just straight in OTLs. And drag it over here. Okay. Now it is an unreal now place it in the scene massive donut shows up turns white here you go and let's go here is that that's, uh, that's where it's going to be saved to so in this folder here which is currently empty and let's press the render to disk button let's see what happens Doom -de -doom -de -doom. takes a while down here you will see in a second yeah finished cooking so here we have the bake test color E for emissive drag that over no not there I like it to be in a folder uh, so where's my here. drag that into Unreal there you go and now go back up, go into the material and drag in this pop. Yes. And put it onto the donut. No, not the texture. The material. Yep, yeah. there you go nicely unwrapped not the best material I've, I've ever made but does the job um, and to show you that it really works uh, let's just change the frequency uh, put this to movable so it doesn't when it's on static it always comes up with this invalid light map stuff but as we are not making light maps right now and I'm not doing an unreal tutorial anyway I'm not an unreal specialist or anything maybe a rookie <laughs> that would probably <laughs> describe my unreal knowledge um, I know my way around Houdini far better so um, yeah I'll uh, give it a different name gallery 2 render to disk Again, dun, 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 dun. finished cooking. It should have now written it to a different name. It didn't because I didn't press enter. Press it again. Yes. Now I've got the next one. And why didn't I put, yeah, the attachment. Bake test color E2. So, and yeah, could put this into the material. 
do it already? No, I didn't. Okie dokie. That's basically it. Let's do one with more iterations so it shows up more. Call it number three. Not gonna explain anything new anymore here, so you might as well stop watching the video, just goofing around. Dum di dum di dum di dum. Third texture baked. And put that over here. Put it into the material. Yoo hoo! So you see, that's how easy it is. Bye-bye.